Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are talking about MSFS glass. In my opinion this is a must have add on for any flight simulator you guys will uh, definitely see the value in this no matter what kind of air flight you do. Um, hopefully you guys will find some benefit to this because it's an incredibly powerful tool. I'm super excited it has returned and so today we're going to walk through it so stick around. If you are interested in any of my tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, guys, so as I said, this tool I used to swear by. Unfortunately, the previous version of it stopped working. That was a uh, mobile companion app is what it was called, and I used to use this app religiously every single flight. I had it on my cell phone. I had it on my tablets. I had it on my laptop. I had it running on the computer itself. Uh, this is such a cool tool. And so today, we're just going to walk through it, you guys. So first off, I'm going to walk you through just the basic instructions. There isn't a whole lot to it, so I'm not going to be showing anything on screen so just listen up. You simply download it, pick a directory where you want it to reside, and you extract it, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then when it comes time to launch it, you do. there's a config file, and you meet, need to merely, um, if you are, especially if you're running a store version, you just need to update the um, location of your installation directory. So that part I will show you very briefly. Hang on one second here because that would be a good thing to show you guys. But this is such a cool tool and so easy to set up that really if you guys choose not to go this route, you're really missing out. Um, I've been really, really impressed with this app for a very long time. I, like I said, I've used the living you know what out of it. Um, so it's just it's absolutely one of those ones that you definitely want to carry with you. Uh, so let's see here. Okay, so first up, real briefly, you guys can see this is what the installation directory looks like. You simply extract it and you get these three files. You need to make sure these two are always in the same directory together. The README you can pull out if you want, but I don't know why you'd want to. But anyway, this file right here is what you need to open up. And I usually use Notepad++, but a simple Notepad will work just the same. Then what you need to do is you need to switch on over to... This window, wow, that is really large, but you guys will still be able to see it. So this is the directory that you need to adjust. And the only thing that you need to do, especially if you're on the store version, if you were on the store version, this directory exists regardless of whether or not you've changed your community folder, etc. So all you have to do is add your username. That's it. So how you find that is you would go to your, if we go back to our Explorer real quick. Uh, where are you? There you are. So we go C, users, there it is right there. That's your username. Whatever username you have here, that's what you put in there. Okay, so really, really simple process, you guys. So now getting into this, like I said, I have sworn by this app. So let's go ahead and start talking about some of the really cool things it does. Um, so first off, you can see that you have just the surrounding map. Now, one of the things you do want to do when you first get into it is go to the other tab. Oh, let me make sure, make sure I'm not lying to you here. I think I'm lying to you. Uh, where are you? Is it panel? Nope, wasn't panel. There we go, options. And you want to hit this load API button. Don't worry about if there's anything in here. You want to load it. If you do need to go further than that, you can use this link right here. It'll take you through the process of creating it. But I didn't have to go through any of that. But the map, if you find that the map is frozen, it doesn't do anything no matter what you hit, nothing happens. Just hit that load API key. You don't have to do anything else, just tap that. But while we're here, check it out. You can also adjust the sim rate here, and then you can also change the portrait layout versus whether it's portrait or landscape mode. Okay, so you have a couple of different options. You can also manually change the profile. I'm trying to keep my finger out of the way so you guys can see the screen. You can see that you can change the uh, the load of the aircraft to whether you want it to load manually, uh, which is this little toggle right here, or you can select a specific aircraft. So go into the data tab here. 
and then you have some current information. You have your current flight data as well as landing information for those of you uh, flight sim nerds <clears throat> who enjoy uh, knowing what your landing is. Personally, I don't need anything telling me how bad my landing is. You can hear me land four miles away. Uh, it's, it, every time you hear a sound that sounds like a piano falling, that was me hitting the ground. Okay, so anyway, moving on over to the other tab. Check this out, you guys. Spoilers control. You have your flaps. Up or down control gives you what the flaps... Ah, got to stop doing that. Gives you what the current flap readout is, as well as your gear control. Here you have trim, elevator, rudders, and your uh, ailerons. All that controlled by this simple app. Go over to your panels. Check that out. Beacon lights. All of your lights, landing lights, etc. Coming down here, you have your pitots. Okay, and you can even... Toggle all lights on. I'm sure you guys heard that in the sim. And you can toggle them back off. Or you can simply do one at a time. Now, some of the reasons why this may not be registering is I don't have any electrical power on, so let's see if that's part of the problem. But this is also optimized for 2024. I'm using it on 2020. There you go. Nope. It was electrical power. So, that is another really cool part about this is it does register all that. So, toggle all lights. Toggle all lights off. There we go. And let's turn those cabin lights off. That actually may not be working. And I said this in the news video. That all, all aircraft and not all functionality work. That one kind of makes sense. So just for the record, we are in the Just Flight P-28. So it is a third-party aircraft as well. But you guys still get the gist. Everything else works like you can hear it. All the important ones. Oh, wait. This one I don't think has taxi lights. Okay. Going over to your autopilot, same thing. You have your autopilot master switch, all of your nav modes, your heading, and you can actually change this in. Now, one of the really cool things about the heading mode, for example, is you have a couple different ways. You can either type your heading in, this, so you just simply click the box, and you would type in. So if you wanted to go 306, maybe, okay, you just hit set, and your heading bug is now set. Notice that it's registering here. And if we look down here, we should see the same thing. Although, again, nope, there it is right there, 306. So again, if we want to type that, let's say we want to go to 180. Boom, there it is, 180. So really, really cool tool, you guys. This thing does so much. This has been one of my favorite applications to use ever since the launch of it. And this thing started early on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Again, same thing with your comms. You have all your comm information, transponder information down here and you can actually force sync the frequencies. So by doing that, it will automatically sync the app to what you have inside of the sim. Now, if you are looking for a well-performing and affordable head and eye tracking solution that works with both webcams and cell phones, then Be My Tracker is the software for you. Be My Tracker boasts a very simple setup and a very large list of customization options that make setting the both eye and head tracking to your desire. The eye tracking makes it very easy to glance down at gauges or look up at mirrors or maybe look over at your wingman when flying in formation while being able to customize the head tracking to be able to turn your head as far as you wish and possibly be looking behind you at the same time. Beam Eye Tracker currently supports over 200 games and simulators natively and a vast larger amount in conjunction with the freeware software OpenTrack. Beam Eye Tracker can be purchased on either Steam or on their website for only 30 US dollars, making it one heck of a bang for your buck. They also offer a free demo on Steam if you wish to try it before you buy it. Pick up your copy of Beam Eye Tracker using the link down in the description below. Funny enough, I was actually in landscape mode. I wanted to go, to, or in portrait mode, I needed to go, or I was in landscape, I needed to go over to portrait. So again, here's, here we are now on the map. And again, if you can't do this, if you can't zoom in and out, that's just a matter of needing to hit that load API key couple different options up here okay you can load different terrain settings oh I think I made it mad I did there it goes oh no it's turning too there we go there we go there's your terrain I just wasn't giving enough time I wasn't being patient so you can see all the terrain information I'm actually not sure what that button, there it goes. I think that centers on the aircraft. You can zoom out, get your full topographical map. A couple different display options. This is actually a dark mode. I know that's coming out really crappy on the camera, but you guys get the gist. 
I mean, just an absolutely fantastic piece of software, you guys. Doors. Uh, let's see here. Nope, I wanted the satellite. Really, really slick. It centers us back on our aircraft. Simply move off, and that will change. If you have flight plan sync, I mean, it just, guys, it does so much. I love this app. Absolutely love this app. You can hyper focus on certain zones. Really, really slick. So anyway, like I said, this really didn't need to be a very long video, but I wanted to show you guys how powerful this tool really is. And one of the really cool things about it is I'll show you this last piece. Okay, you guys, so the last part that I want to show you that I think is really awesome about this app too. So on the screen, you have the map. There's our nav and radio panel. There's our autopilot panel. You can host this on as many devices as you want as it's merely accessing a uh, web server. Uh, so it's really, really effective. If you have multiple devices, you can really easily create a very functional and very easily accessible cockpit all the way around the environment. So as always, guys, I hope you guys appreciate this video. I thought, hope you guys think this tool is as awesome as I do. Again, a link to it will be down in the description below. To the developer, thank you once again for bringing this amazing software back. I absolutely love it. Remember, guys, it's lights, autopilot, electricals, your map, flight planning, sim rate, landing information, you name it. It's got it all. So as always, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.